I know this is 23 out of 23 here, but in the background, maybe tomorrow or over the next couple days, I'm going to do another run really quick and beat it quick. And so consider this run 24 of 24. Hopefully I'll win at least. So this will be the last run I've had quite, uh, I've had a couple of comments asking for more challenges. So let's go ahead and get this 25, 25 out of the way real quick. So we can get on into the six challenges and get on into a little more interesting things. So I'm going to go zero challenges and just go with the Huntress and just consider this my victory lap. This will be number 25. The Huntress is one of my favorite characters to play next to the Monk, of course. And like I like to do for the sewers, I'm going to over explain very hard for brand new players start out in the sewers and you mess around a bit with the other classes and you unlock the Huntress and now you're checking out the Huntress and what does she do? Well, the Huntress is amazing. The first thing I would start getting used to doing is like going way down here, taking your food or your water skin and throwing it at a door. And now look, we can see in through the door. Now we can hit, for me it's one, but you may be on, you may be on a mobile. So you're probably just gonna click down here in your boat and then like click way over here. So we need to shoot a straight line. So I'm on PC which I would recommend getting it on PC or Mac or whatever. So I'll just hit one and I aim right down there and I'm listening to see if I hit anything. And it doesn't sound like I'm hitting anything, so it's probably safe to assume there's nothing there. Yep, and then same thing here. I'll kind of shoot down this direction, see if anyone's there, no one's there. And same kind of deal, I'm gonna throw the food this time. Let's go open this door, see if we can see anything. Nope, but I'll shoot way down there anyways. I don't think I hit anything. Nope. So early on, see there's a rat, let's get that rat. Uh oh, it hit us. Some a little trick we can do is since we um hide in this grass, we can cut that corner and maybe the rat will forget where we are. It sure did. Look how see how that grass disappeared. That means the rat's there. So we get a free shot with the bow, and then we get a free punch, and we surprise it with the punch because it couldn't see us before we were there. That's the little exclamation point, the uh, the punch attacks. So when we are in line of sight, it has a chance of waking up every time we move or a turn passes. Ideally, I'd like to get out of line of sight, but I also really just want to shoot it a bunch of times. So I'm going to get over here. Unfortunately, it didn't break line of sight, but we're not far enough away now that we can just shoot it a bunch of times. And we'll kill it before it gets to us. And I'll take a couple pot shots down here and just like see if anything's there. Look, there's one. Let's shoot it a bunch of times. Getting the rats down. Take like a couple shots like right on direction here. See if we get anything. Nope. I'm, I'm always fishing, you know, I'm like fishing for free shots. So we know the snake is one, two, three, four, five, six squares down. So if we get out of vision of it, we can still like kind of know where to shoot. But we didn't need to because we killed it and one hit. Snake's got teeny weeny little amounts of hit points. So I'll take a couple pot shots here. Go for all little angles. I don't think I hit anything. So I think we're good. Great. This can always be dangerous because there could be like a break in the grass with like a creature hiding in there. See, they're just like that, you little rascally rat there. I had a feeling one was around somewhere. Oh, got a nice little area to shoot for. So the Huntress definitely thrives on big open rooms because you can take advantage of your range. So I'm just exploring all the grasses and I'm picking up the seeds and the dew vials that drop. And I'll always click on the magnifying lens and then click on the chest and make sure it's not a mimic. If it is a mimic, it will say something like, don't get near this, it's dangerous. And on computer, I just hit E for examine. See that real quick? Wow, we just got plate armor. Okay, thank you very much. Maybe it is plus one, that'd be amazing. So let's go ahead and throw the food into here. Take a couple of pot shots. I always zoom out for that. Like I'll zoom out so I can, I don't think anything's there, okay. And I'm feeling a little more confident, so I'm not going to do that quite as much anymore. But for a new player, or in a, or if you're in a tough situation where you can't really afford to take any damage, I would definitely recommend doing that. Going into talents now that we leveled up, you just click on my icon over here, talents pop up. I really like all of them. <laughs> but in particular, this one's pretty good. You do bonus damage after you hit them with your range stack, so that's pretty good. You can use pretty much choose whatever you want for the talents, but I like to choose things that make me stronger immediately. Okay. So these rooms, similar thing, we can I examine them by clicking on the lens here. Of course, we won't know what most of them are. 
but early on in the game from this treasure chest you're guaranteed a ring an artifact or a wand i believe it's between those three so if i don't have one of those items i'll definitely always take the chest so let's see what we got we got a wand prismatic light not my favorite wand but it's pretty decent it's actually pretty good on the hunters because of the blinding ability i'm going to shoot it once just to make sure it's not cursed and it appears as if it's not cursed fantastic I do that when there's no enemies around because I don't want to get Kurt uh, in trouble when there's enemies nearby in case it ends up being cursed, you know? Ooh, look at this. I love the Well of Health. So now we can collect all the items and we can bring them back and try them on. And if they're cursed, we'll just step into the well and it will uncurse them for us. So I call that Christmas time. We're going to have ourselves a little Christmas because we're going to collect all of our presents, go down to the well and then open them up. When I open them, I mean try them on. Well, so now we have the gnolls. Gnolls are a little annoying, so I may go ahead and throw. Let's throw the plate armor in there. Take a couple of pot shots. Well, you see, it's a kind of around the corner, so it's not going to work anyways. Okay, we'll just be, we'll keep being careful. I know it's kind of annoying and it's a lot of extra work, but the benefits are worth it when you find out you have. A bunch of health potions because you've never had to use one and you get to the end of the game and you've got like 20 health potions it's pretty nice and that's kind of where it starts every little little decision kind of adds up and it can snowball for you or against you so the ghost here is going to give us a quest which is going to spawn a special monster we have to fight and that monster is unique to the floor you get the quest on so you can get the ghost on floor two floor three or floor four Floor 3 is the worst because it's a ranged character that poisons you. It's like the trickster knoll. Floor 4 is okay. Floor 2 is obviously the best because it's just a... It's just a rat. It's a stinky rat, but just a rat after all. So I step back through the door and watch when we hit it. That exclamation point. That's a surprise attack. Guaranteed to hit. And some weapons even do bonus damage. So that's why I run it back through all the doors here. Because I don't want to miss. And the ghost is kind of messing with us. So, I will take the ghost quests. Uh, very often, I'll actually wait and not do it until I've explored more because I don't want to fight the new special monster the ghost spawns at the same time as like you know other creatures are alive. So I'll like go around the full floor and explore it and open it all up. Oh, there it is, right? Yep, the dead rat. So at least we get a couple free shots out of here. So the main trick with the rat is to fight it on water. So I may even go ahead and pull back here and fight on this water. And then the other main thing is to watch this stinky gas cloud because that's going to paralyze you and you're going to be in trouble. So since it's almost dead, let's go ahead and pull back to the store and miss. But we get the tech there and notice the gas is on me. So I'm just going to step back from the gas, let it dissipate. And maybe the ghost will come to us. Yeah, come here, ghost. What have we won? We've won mm, a dirk. So this is stronger, those surprise attacks will do better, and we have some armor. But since most of my damage actually kind of comes from my bow, I'd rather actually have armor than the Dirk at this point. I mean, I do have that plate armor there, but I'm going to go with the armor. And it is a plus two armor, are you kidding me? That's so good. This is going to carry us, like, probably through, maybe through the prisons. Maybe until we get this plate armor on. It's already feeling like a warden, like super tanky run. Feeling good. So that was not a surprise attack. That's unfortunate. Here's a surprise attack. Notice that exclamation point there. So what we really need is a potion of strength to get us up to that 11 marker so we can wear this leather armor. And we'll go from 0 to 2 to 2 to 8. That is so good. Identify the chest. Chest is safe. Shoot the rat. And pretty soon we're going to get into identifying so one thing i like to do here so this is one over and two up so let's get out of line of sight get it back as far as we can shoot it from here take a blind shot so it woke up maybe it moved i like to just shoot at the exact same square again because there's no guarantee that it moved okay it moved so i don't know where it is now so maybe it moved over here maybe i'll shoot like right here oh i missed oh better get range on it i mean better get vision sometimes Blocking your vision like that doesn't uh, help you because you end up missing it. But if it's an easy like straight corridor or something to shoot down, it's probably okay then. So we can get some food here or we can get the identify. 
<laughs> They're all pretty good. I don't know exactly what I want to choose at this point. See, you have to actually step on a plant for that to happen, which I feel like doesn't happen all that often right away. Maybe I'll get a little food right off the bat. I like to put one point on this, get the four little berries. Because they also turn into seeds, which is pretty good. Some more gold here. Some keys. Alrighty. We've got the well here, which I won't quite use yet. Because I don't know what scrolls I want to put in there yet. So the ma your main scrolls are, of course, upgrade and then identify and remove curse. Oh, so just if you think there might be a you want to search for like um, a hidden door. It's just kind of like if there's a large stretch of area that hasn't had any doors in a while. Like I might be tempted to search like around this wall if this wasn't one. But yeah, you can just hit the magnifying lens twice and you'll search all around you. So I just had a feeling, I don't know, after you play enough times, you kind of find enough hidden doors and you get an idea where they are. So when you trigger gas traps, I feel like the best way to go is diagonal and you can get out of it. Like if I had gone up, I would still be in it. And if I had gone down, I would still be in it. But if you go into diagonal, you can kind of get away from it. So one trick with the gas traps is they actually dissipate quicker over space. So if I leave this door open, it will leak out into this big room and it'll disappear quicker. But if you leave it stuck in a small space, it'll actually take a while to disappear. And you end up having to like sit around and wait for it. Ooh, and look, you hear I got two experience. So an enemy died in there. That's good. Don't mind that. Is it done? Are you done? Okay, great. Notice I'm starving and I'm slowly losing one hit point every now and then. Um, I'll wait till I'm about 50, 60% health and then I'll eat some food. That's the best way to manage your food is to not eat it as soon as you start starving, but actually wait till you get a bit lower and then you're actually taking advantage of the regain that your food gives you. Like if you're at full health, then the little bonus regeneration you're getting, is not doing you any good. So like really min-maxing, taking the most advantage of everything you can and continuing to, you know, take our little pot shots here. See, like this to me seems a little suspect. Just like a random cubby hole with no door. I like to search for a door there. Okay, and we have this one left. So I may just go ahead and eat just to be on the safer side. Oh, hello there, Mr. Mouse. Oh, or whatever. So I'm doing one trick here, which is around uh, pillars. If you come around this corner, it loses sight of you. And notice I get the surprise attacks. You can use that with anything that breaks line of sight. I'm doing that because I am on floor two and the knolls right now are the hardest they're going to be compared to me and my level. So definitely want to take advantage and not take extra hits if possible. So here we go. We'll definitely examine the statue and see what it's wearing. It has a shocking dirt. I mean, it's an upgrade. I don't mind it. The question is, can I kill it now? I would, uh, maybe, I think so. Maybe if I stood like way down here, but here's the deal. I have to come back to floor one anyways for the, um, the that well of health. So I'll just, I'll just come back and get it then. I'll be stronger then as well. But I have to keep remembering to use my wand. I've been forgetting to use that. Also, we are done with floor two. So between floor one and two, we are, we are guaranteed to find one strength potion. So that means that one of these three potions here is strength. And honestly, it could be any one because we haven't had a trap room yet. So I usually wouldn't drink it, but since we have this and I really want to put this on and we're going to fight crabs next floor, I will risk losing or wasting one of these if they're bad um, and drinking them. So what y'all think? Magenta Indigo Crimson. Well, one thing we could do is use our Scroll of Intuition. Let's go ahead and use it because it'll, it'll bring us from 33% chance to 50% chance if we get it wrong. So let's go Strength. Hey, nice. Then we can use it one more time because we got it right. Fantastic. Drink her down. Potion of Strength. And put on our leather armor. And now we are super strong. We could even probably consider fighting that statue. But why do it now and take a bunch of damage when we can do it later and take zero damage? That is my question for me. So I am not going to do the door tricks because I'm feeling a little strong and it takes a long time to sit there and constantly throw food at them. 
Let's go ahead and zap you a little bit. I'm getting um, upgrade vibes from that because in floor one and two, we only got these two scrolls. So we definitely have to get two more scrolls of upgrade. And once you have a duplicate, usually the duplicate is, you know, the scroll you want to do because you're going to have three of them, right? It's unlikely that you'll get three of any other random scrolls there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Since these two can they both attack me, I'll go ahead and pull them back. Since they both can attack me again, I'll pull back one more time. And we'll fight them right here. Fight you right here. Fight you right there. Bow shot. Okay. So the main thing in the sewers with the flies is pay attention to what potion they drop because that's a guaranteed healing potion. So our scrolls that we want are going to be identify, remove curse, and magic mapping. If we use magic mapping in the demon halls, we need four of them because there are some nasty traps down there, like disintegration traps and stuff. Oh, look, there's some more flies. Come here, flies. Oh, there we go. It dropped a silver potion. So we know silver is our healing potion. And I'm not even going to bother going back to the doors anymore because this armor is very, very strong. So there's our healing potion. And one thing I would do if I was... Maybe I'll do it. If I wasn't going to play this this save for a while, I would like actually open up a notepad and I would write down like healing potion. Silver is healing. So we're in a bit of a pickle because we about, we're about to get surrounded. Okay, at least it's only a rat. We can, I don't doubt the rat would do any damage. So I'm actually going to try and take out the crown first because it's going to do damage to us. And luckily we have this rat here body blocking the snow from getting close to us. There we go. And we level up. Level wise. I like survivalist intuition. I usually end up getting two in here, but yeah, sure. I'll do one in there for now. We we'll just go punch and we're punch. We're rat punchers. That's what we do. We punch rats. There we go. Good. And we can start punching real fast now and going through the game a lot quick because we got this armor, which is just, you know, luck. Kind of unfortunate because part of this whole 25 wins in a row is to prove that it's not all about luck. <laughs> Because that's so many people who complain about roguelikes, they say, oh, it's supposed to like, you got to get lucky. And if you don't get lucky and get the right items, then you just restart and do it over again and do it over until you get lucky and get the right items. Well, I mean, that may be true with nine challenges or super duper impossible modes in other games. But in the regular gameplay, I'm saying that it's beatable every single time because you're given... The opportunity to work with what you have and like make right choices and like do different builds that's why i think roguelikes are fun and dynamic because regardless of the items you get like you can you change your gameplay to suit you know like flexible like the reed you bend like like bruce lee would say right okay floor four and we have two of these so i'm guessing this is upgrade but you know what? I probably won't even use those upgrades for quite a while until I know exactly what I want to put them on. But I am going to say that we will find one more of those Odals on this floor. Since it's the last floor to find them. Silver Potion is healing. Just keep telling myself that so I don't forget. Who is right in my face there, Noli? You are. I'll keep. Since these doors are real close, I'll go ahead and pull back to these doors. Then, like, I don't know, I just kind of get hidden door vibes from, like, spots like this, where it seems like it should keep going. But nope, not that time. I don't like to search too much because it takes time, and time is food. And once you're starving, you're in trouble. So hopefully this um, episode here can help you get through the sewers and start, like, coming out of the sewers stronger every time and just getting really used because this is really the foundation of the rest of the run here in the sewers and be careful not to kill these over the pits because they'll drop the potion and the potion will fall down and break that's why i made sure to only shoot the ones that were over the uh the floor there i'm feeling strong enough to fight more than one at a time that's why i'm not running back or anything i'll shoot this crap from way out here Another option would have been to like run way down far away and shoot it from far away, get as many free hits as possible. But like I said, this plus two leather is making me feel pretty strong already. So if you want to play along, I highly recommend it. Here is the seed. 
go ahead and pop that in there. If you haven't beaten the game yet, unfortunately, you can't do the seeds. But if you've beaten the game once, you can put the seeds in. So that is definitely good um, motivation to, to get your first win. You know, get it in there, get the seeds so you can start playing along with me and everyone else. And you can even play ahead and tell me what to do <laughs> and say, hey, this treasure chest has this in it. You should really get it like a ring of sharpshooting. Yeah, let me know if you find one of those. So yeah, this is, um, like I said, this is my victory lap. I'm calling this the 25th game because I'm going to do the 24th one behind the scenes here. I think I'll probably, I mean, do Huntress is kind of the quickest one to run through, in my opinion, just because all of the shooting you can do. So there you go. Like I thought, the third old all, that's definitely our upgrade. We have nothing to put it on yet. Perhaps we will put it on the plate armor, but I do want to perhaps identify that as well. Because if it's like not plus one or nothing, it's kind of a little harder for me to justify going and do it. Let's, why am I not zapping these guys more often? I keep forgetting to use that. Wow, look at all this loot in here. Can we zap it? No, out of charges. Okay, that's fine. So golden and another strength. So if we find a puzzle room, we know it's the golden. So yeah, dead end. I just kind of had a feeling it could be a hidden door. So I went for it. Let's see what's in there quick. This feels like a door, right? Nope. Oh, it's the labyrinth room. Okay. These rooms don't search the dead ends for doors. They never are. Just go ahead and get your treasure, which is at the end of them, which is really actually really nice on a vegetation floor. Look at all this grass. We get all this extra dew drops and all these extra seeds. Kind of love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I really love this run is to do a golden lotus. The wand of regrowth would be amazing. Look, you see that grass disappearing? See it right there? See how it moved too? That means that's definitely a crab. And it's right here. I'm gonna shoot it. Got it. So if I wasn't recording, I would probably be zoomed out a lot all the time because I always watch the doors and you can like you can track the enemy's movements by seeing doors opening or seeing grass getting stepped on. And that's a good way to know if you're about to get surrounded and you need to run away. Ooh. Okay, this could be really bad if this is like a dead end. So I'm gonna have to take a couple hits just so I can get out. I'm actually taking a lot of hits. So if go diagonal, diagonal, we can get out of it. It stopped growing. Okay. You have to just kind of wait until that goes away, unfortunately. So I want, I do want what's in the treasure chest. It's early enough in the run where I'm not going to be skipping anything. Gas, come on now. Quit hotboxing the labyrinth, gas. Go on. Nothing yet. It's okay, because I probably would have ran through all this anyways to get all the grass. And here it is. This has got to be it. We found it. Hey, it's a mace. Nice. Okay. Too much junk in our inventory. So... That always happens, right? I guess we just eat something. I really don't want to run back here. And I really want to make meat pie. So... I'm here. Okay. I'll run back. I'm so greedy, I won't even, like, waste a single thing. <laughs> I know. Oh, nice. Teleport. That's good. I actually really wanted to go down to floor four. So we're, floor, we're level six. If you do have the luxury to get up to, like, level seven or eight, it's actually pretty nice. You can farm up to that level here in the sewers pretty comfortably. It just kind of depends on how much food. So what I'm going to do is now I'm on the boss floor, floor five. I'm going to come down here. Actually, I need to identify that, so I'll hold on to that. And I'm actually going to drop like this stuff. And I'll drop these potions as well. I'm just going to drop all of them. Drop you. Except the golden, because in case there's a trap room. Here's our healing potions. I'll hold on to the healing ones too. And Lagoos, i also drop you. And of course, drop the stylus. Okay, great. Now we have plenty of inventory space. We can loot up. We can go to this this room here. And it's the three keys, so it's just these consumables. Ooh, augmentation. It's okay. So what do we want to do? We want to get step on some more grass. You know what? I should consider trying on these dirks, but if they're cursed, I'm going to be in trouble. So I'm not going to mess with it, actually. I just hate getting cursed. 
supplies. Nice. More healing potions for us. And I think I'll probably end this run here. Um, so next episode, I'm going to fight the goo and then I'll get into the into the merchant because the merchant is how we identify the rest of our scrolls. So in the sewers, we figure out what strength and upgrade is and hopefully healing from a fly. But in the well, then we go to the merchant and we figure out what our well, the, the huntress always knows what identify is, but we really want to know it, remove curse and magic mapping is. And luckily for us, the merchant always has one of those. Merchant always has identify magic mapping and remove curse, but sometimes it has extra one extra random ones too so that's where we get in trouble if we don't know what they are i actually kind of love it when the merchant just says the three because then i know right away okay these are the three i want these are the three i'm going to hold on to well you know what it is it's time for christmas christmas time let's go get that statue then let's go to the well is the mace curse it's not but it's 14 strength so can't do it anyways Okay, we'll kill a snake on the way. And where is that? See, now our, our bow is leveled up to plus one. We've got this armor on. We're in a way better position to fight this uh, statue here. And I'm actually going to open the door. Throw a little bit of meat in its eye, of course. And where is it? It is... One, two, three, four up. So can, how far away can I hit it? Can I hit it from here? I can, look at that. Uh oh, there's a null at me, but I'm gonna try and focus down the statue. Oh, where is it? I'll just keep shooting. I'll shoot the null, whatever. Get this null all the way. Get this statue down, fantastic. And is it, no, definitely not cursed and it's identified, fantastic. Love it. We got that. Now let's go ahead and cook up some meat pie. And I had a great tip in the comments. It was said that if, the recipe is lit up. You can just make it from clicking on this. Like this. Ow. Click on the arrow. Whoa. It automatically puts all the items in there for you. I had no idea. That's so cool. Ooh, actually, wait. let's go ahead and make ourselves a potion. Because this will identify the potion for us. Now we know what mind vision is. Pretty cool. I like that very much. And what else should we... We need a little bit of energy. So let's go ahead and maybe take this storm vine. Okay, so we go up here into the recipe, click on the food item, the meat pie, the finished product. No, we click on the energy, the six. Nice, there it is. Heck, uh, yeah, I love that. Nice, thanks for that tip. That's freaking awesome. Okay, and now we go up one more to the well of health. Actually, actually, wait, 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 wait. No, change my mind. I was going to say, let's go farm until we're out of food. Okay, let's just be... Super min max in min max and maxers. Let's go right here. Fight some crabs or something. Let's go to floor four. Fight crabs and slimes. Right, I should have done this earlier. Okay. So we're gonna kill stuff because the well refills all of our food. So we don't want to go there until we're like starving, right? That makes sense to me. Well I'll stand like right right here. Look where I have like I have all this vision and I will just shoot stuff from far away before they even get to me. Well, hopefully you don't get that close. Level seven. Now we're starving. Now let's shoot this one. Mm, that one. Oops, should just punch it. Okay. Ooh, nice healing potion. See, got a healing potion on the deal. And now I guess it's probably worth running up. Yeah. Maybe not all that worth. A little bit worth. Get some experience. Get a healing potion. And okay, so I think I'll go. Into here, and into here, why not? And into here, I do like heightened senses right away. You can see through the doors, so in case there's an enemy waiting to ambush you back there. Then you know, like, you can step back a couple spots and open the door and then start shooting through it instead. Okay, Will of Health, it's time. My favorite time, Christmas time, let's go. So what I like to do is get here, and the first thing I want to try on, of course, is this armor. Not cursed. Love it. Let's try on one of these dirks. Cursed. Unfortunate, because now I don't really want to try that one on, because if it is cursed, I won't have a way to take it off. So we'll step into the well. Removes the curse. But I don't really want to. I like the shocking one better anyways. 
And I kind of feel like identifying this. I'm going to do it because if it's like plus one or two or something, I would like go all in on scrolls right away and know I can use it. But look, it's plus zero. I'm not super hyped about that. I'll probably hold on to it because if we get another one, we can like combine them in the blacksmith and use it that way. But anyways, yeah, a bit of a longer first episode, but I think it's good to start off strong. And um, so I'll just call it here. And when I pick up next time, I will have made it back down to goo and we'll start off goo and we'll start this adventure off strong. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.